Hello and welcome to another session of ICT class. Today I want us to look at sorting, filtering, and conditional formatting. These three are important tools, especially in MS Excel, when you are handling large amount of data, and at a particular point you want to group them or to order them in a particular way so that you can do analysis on them. So I will start by sorting. Here, sorting is simply arranging in a particular order. That is what we mean by sorting. Eh? It is not rocket science. If I have a group of um, the students and I want to arrange their names alphabetically, I will be sorting the students' names. And in the sorting, you can deal with alphabetical uh, data or numeric data. When you deal with alphabetical data, you can arrange them from A to Z or from Z to A. And when you are arranging data from A to Z, we say that you are applying what we call ascending sort. By ascending sort, we mean you are climbing, you are ascending from the lowest to, to the, the highest. And when you are arranging from Z to A, we say that you are applying a descending sort, meaning you are descending the ladder. You are moving from the largest to the smallest. Same applies to numeric data. You can arrange the data from the smallest value to the largest value, and that is what we call ascending sort. Or you can arrange from the largest value to the smallest value, and that is what we call descending sort. Now, uh, by ascending and descending, I simply mean these words. This is ascending sort. Then the other one is descending sort. So these are the methods which are used in the sort. And um, you should not forget, uh, when we say ascending is you are climbing the ladder from lowest to highest. And when we say descending is from top to bottom. And that is how we apply this in MS Excel, as I will show you later. Now, uh, the next thing is what we call filtering. As the name is suggesting here, by filtering we simply mean uh, we are hiding what we don't want and showing only what we want. And that is very important because if I have a very large list of boys and girls, maybe 1,000 students, 600 or even 500, and I only want girls, I will hide the boys and only what will be remaining on the Excel sheet will be girls. Or I want only the boys and I don't want to show the girls, then I will hide the girls and show only the boys. This process of hiding what you don't want and showing what you want is what we call filtering. All this I will show them practically in MS Excel. Then the last thing I want us also to discuss here is what we call conditional formatting. What is it? Conditional formatting means we are only formatting the cells in MS Excel to show what we want. For example, if I want only values which are above 5,000, I will apply what we call conditional formatting to the cells with values of 5,000, maybe and above, to have a yellow background or a green background. Once they are formatted by these colors, you are able to locate the values in MS Excel sheet. I will go ahead now and show you practically what I mean by sorting, filtering, and conditional formatting. Now you can see from this data here, 
we have a list of customers and the list is organized in ascending sort from customer id 1 to customer id 9 so we say this list is sorted according to customer id and you can see we have other columns like first name last name gender and city all these are uh, organized in a particular way according to customer id what if now i want to change the sort order now i want to sort the data which you see here in a particular way according to the balance column where i want a customer with the largest balance to be on top and a customer with the smallest balance to be at the bottom in that case i'm going to sort this data according to this balance column and i will apply what we call descending sort to the balance column now to sort data in excel the first thing is to select all the cells with the information you want to include in the sort and in this case i will just select like this now the next thing will be to apply the sorting tool and to get the sorting tool we just right click anywhere on the selected parts like this come to the sort menu then here you will get uh, immediate options like sort from a to z or sort from z to a these are only used if you want to sort according to the first column of data but if in my case i want to use balance column these ones will not help me because they only these two only work when you are using the first column in sorting so in my case since i want to use another column apart from the first column i will go to custom sort and click here then this uh, sorting box appears here you choose what you want, which column you want to sort by. So here I want to use balance column and I want it to arrange from largest to smallest. Then I will click OK. Now you can see the first person with the largest balance is customer ID C004. And this order is descending from the largest to the smallest and that is what we call sorting now i will also want to sort um, according to uh, alphabetical order i want to have maybe a last name here to be arranged alphabetically from a to z so in that case i will just select all my data like this right click the selected area come to sort and choose custom sort and in this case sort by which column i will choose here last name and i want it from a to z so i will change here the order to from a to z and click ok now we can see my my data is sorted according to the last name column from a to z that is how sorting is done the next thing is what we call filtering and you remember very well we said when you are filtering you are showing what you want and hiding what you don't want so in this case here let's say for example i want to show only male customers in that case i will just uh, click any cell then you, you come to this icon sort and filter icon here and you just click this filter and you can see filter handles appear and this hand these handles are the ones we are going to use to specify what we want it to show so it, i said very well i only want male customer so i will just come here under the gender filter handle click then uncheck all of them 
when you uncheck all of them you simply click the checkbox for the select all if you click you will select all if you uncheck you will unselect all and since i want only mail i will click mail then click ok so you can see only mail customers have appeared while it is hiding the other customers they are not deleted they are just hidden and for example if i want mail customers from london only it means i will still come to this london column while mail setting is applied i will just come to the city column here click the filter handle and select all of them then i will choose london then click ok now what i have here are only mail customers from london if i want to remove this filter i will just come to this icon here then click this filter icon right now you can see it is active so if you click it it becomes unactive and filter is removed that is how we filter data what if now i want to show only i want to show only uh, customers from birmingham while hiding all the other customers i will just come to the filter handle here click anywhere within the data come to sort and filter click the filter icon I choose here under city click that filter handle and select all of them and click birmingham and click ok so only people from birmingham are shown and to remove this filter just click the sort and filter and choose here click filter that is what we call filtering the last thing uh, we want to do is what we call conditional formatting in conditional formatting you want excel to highlight or to apply a, a, a background color to only the values you are interested in to show uh, for for example if i am interested with balances which are 5000 and above balances which are 5000 and above i will just select all this data then i will come to this conditional formatting icon click it then in the first option highlight sales rules you choose a rule here i want customers who have a balance of 5000 and above so i will click greater than then in this uh, dialog box i'll just type here 5000 you can read here format cells that are greater than 5000 then i will click ok now you can see only values which are 5000 and above are highlighted if i want to remove the conditional formatting i can just click here conditional formatting then clear rules then clear rules from entire sheet what if i want uh, balances which are less than 3000 i will just select where i want it to pick the balances to be checked come to conditional formatting highlight sales rules less than 3000 i will type here 3000 then click okay now you can see these are values which are below 3000 and the values have cells background color specified with a particular color that is what we call applying the conditional formatting to select what you want this these three tools are very important especially if you are dealing dealing with large amount of data into thousands where you cannot use your eyes to select what you want so uh, that is all we have for today and see you next time bye bye